Hello Plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another current household. I know I said I'd be doing Rose Hill today, but I just felt like I wanted to do something a little bit more relaxing today to kind of focus on. It's just what I wanted to do because Rose Hill, it does take like a lot of, a lot of, I don't want to say strength, but you get what I mean. Like it does take a long time to do. And today I was just not really in the mood for that, especially with the new Let's Play yesterday. So I thought I would just show you guys my current household that I've actually only been playing for a couple of days. This video is going to be a bit more relaxed. I know my videos usually are very not very relaxing if you will they always you know have some kind of hype not hype that just sounds really cringy <laughs> that just sounds really weird you get my drift though right they're always like really high energy and so today's video is going to be a little bit more low energy if you will any use i'm rambling on so if you're new here hi hello welcome my name is lorena i do mainly sims 4 content like let's plays and creator sims so if any of that interests you please go ahead and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family today's plum of the day shout out goes to you mice are nice i'm really really i love your name by the way <laughs> i'm really really happy that you are enjoying my let's plays and all of that stuff i really do appreciate it and yeah, and I really, I just, I really appreciate this comment. It's really sweet and it really made me happy. So as I said, yeah, thank, thanks a lot. And if you want to be included in the next Plum of the Day shout out, all you have to do is subscribe and click the notification bell and comment something with purple heart emojis at the end. But without further ado, let's just hop in to today's current household. So I am really, really excited to introduce you guys to Juliet Dennison. This is Miss Juliet Dennison. She is, honestly, I really love her. I really love how I made her not look perfect in the beauty standards. I'm just going to put that there, okay? I'm not saying, you know, I think she's stunning, but I wanted to make a sim that isn't completely, as I said, perfect with the beauty standards. I wanted to, you know, make a very real looking sim, which I love a lot and I've wanted to do for a long time. And as I was making Juliet, I just, oh girl, we're just going to leave the, leave the dog in the bath. Okay. All right. She's just kind of abandoned. <laughs> She just kind of abandoned him. Oh, he's getting out. Okay, I'm not sure what really happened there. But yeah, as I was saying, I really wanted to just make a sim that it, she looks like she could be a real person. And and I feel like I really did achieve that with Juliet. I do really love her. I think she looks stunning. I love her outfits. I'm just really in love with this sim, to be honest. I just, I don't know. I feel like she just feels so real. <laughs> I swear I'm so obsessed with my sims like on I sound like such a weirdo like I mean all of us sims are weirdos though, so let's be completely honest but yeah so uh currently it is Spookfest but Juliet is not actually celebrating Spookfest because she you know she just doesn't really care about Spookfest it isn't the kind of holiday she wants to celebrate so she's kind of not really doing much for it but she actually is feeling pretty good since she did actually just have her first kiss which honestly like she's just feeling so happy about because she again i'll get into everyone in a second i'm just going to quickly just uh, i guess get the services of who she is and all that stuff so if we head over to our traits she is actually actually we're going to hop into our career panel first she is actually a school teacher she teaches university students and i wanted to put her in this career because i feel like you know i've never actually played with the teaching career before so i thought it'd be so fun to do it with juliet and i was always making her she just gave me major teacher vibes so I decided to hop her into the teacher career. She is currently in the level three of the of the ed education career. She seems to be actually fixing the little fountain fountain sprinkler. <laughs> so yeah, she is a teacher, and she actually I really love her because she seems like she has lots of set of hobbies. So she's actually a music lover. She isn't a music teacher, but she I would say maybe a math teacher or English teacher. But she's a music lover. She loves uh, loves 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 music. She loves playing the guitar. She hasn't actually learned the piano, but she's currently um learning the guitar, and she is really obsessed with music. It honestly is one of her favorite things ever. She's also quite clumsy. She isn't perfect. She knows that. She definitely falls over a lot she's definitely you know not the most not the most i guess not clumsy <laughs> i'm trying to find the right word but i can think of it but yeah she's she does fall over a lot she it's kind of stumbles a lot she you yeah, know she's just a very kind of clumsy person but in the cutest way possible in the cutest way possible and yeah 
And for her last trait, she loves the outdoors. She loves to just go camping and hiking and walking. It's just, it's li literally what she loves to do. Like, she lives for it. She actually did go to, actually yesterday, she went to Granite Falls to just go spend a day there to do a couple of the hikes. And it was storming the whole time. And it wasn't, it wasn't very successful. She never got to hike because of how bad the storm was because it would be quite dangerous to go hiking in storms so she's kind of disappointed from that but yeah like i said she loves hiking she loves exploring and all of that stuff and right now she is neutral to being pregnant which is from the woohoo wellness mod for anyone who's wondering she doesn't have any lifestyles at the moment but i'm pretty sure she will be picking up the outdoorsy lifestyle pretty soon she isn't ever going to become a celebrity and yeah that, that's basically that's basically it about her and yeah as i said this is actually her little doggo looks like he wants some attention <laughs> this is honey this is her golden retriever honey he is honestly an angel i love him he is seriously her best friend she does everything Everything with him he goes everywhere with her wherever she goes camping or exploring he always goes with her he he is her best friend and you know I, I really wanted to you know get a golden retriever since i just think it suits her and for her aspiration she's actually Ren renaissance sim she's really really clever too really really clever but yeah so she actually a minute ago was feeling pretty happy because of her first kiss because she did actually have her first kiss um with her Paul, her co-worker. Paul is also in the education career. They met with the welcome wagon. He was her neighbor. I just grabbed Paul off of the gallery if any of you guys are wondering, but yeah, he was her next door neighbor and he kind of came over and, you know, it was like not really love at first sight, but, you know, he really liked her and they've kind of just been hanging out. It's very like, you know, casual. They had their first kiss. You know, I kind of just want to have a very relaxed, realistic type a current household. He is a bookworm bro outgoing and he also wants to be have a family. And what confused me, why does he have four traits? <laughs> I'm very confused. But anywho, like I said, he really wants to have a family and he definitely will have a family with with Miss Juliet. They definitely will be. And he has, he has a dog called Dotty, which is honestly so cute because Dotty's a Dalmatian and I'm hoping that Dotty and Honey can have some, can, some cute little pups. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward for that. Uh, but yeah, they, they're probably going to get married. They're probably going to start a family one day. I definitely think that Julie Julie does want to have a family one day. It's, it's definitely on the agenda. She isn't necessarily as family oriented as Paul is, but she definitely do does want to have kids. Probably going to have like around two kids. I don't know probably two kids i think that's like the, the right amount also there are some pancakes here so no need to no need to cook uh but yeah and she actually lives in bright chester yeah i really love this world this is my first time actually having a sim live in it who isn't in university and to be honest you guys this world's so underrated i mean honestly like i know it doesn't have a lot of lots but what what world doesn't <laughs> what world does have a lot of lots though but you know it's it's honestly so stunning it feels like you know very english british i'm not too sure it, it does remind me of places i've been in england before and i don't know it just it feels really alive and i'm i'm really happy i moved to in here like i feel like it really just does suit her and she definitely will be living in brightchester i don't think she's gonna be moving but this is actually her home i do apologize for my um, fps drops today i'm gonna be getting a cooling pad soon for my laptop and cleaning out the fan so <laughs> so don't worry it's just it's, it's gonna gonna take a little while so if you're new to the channel i do apologize about my fps also you guys who already here are kind of familiar with it since it's been like this for a couple of months but yeah uh, sorry i thought i'd bring that out here since it's very very um out there today it's very crazy anywho <laughs> this is her house right here very lovely very very lovely i really do love it it really sees bright chester and yeah she has she does actually have a bike that i need to get her to ride but i keep forgetting <laughs> i got that for her because i think it suits but i've never even gotten her to ride it before but uh, yeah this is basically the house i don't want to go on like a follow-on tour since i know i usually do my current households but you guys can kind of get the gist of the house you know we've just got this very indoorsy area it's very modern she definitely will be moving out into a bigger house uh, with paul they're gonna probably put their money together but they they're not even dating well they are dating but they're not like together yet so you know i don't think they're going to be thinking about moving in together, <laughs> together just yet but i definitely think that she is thinking you know paul he's the one i'm definitely going to marry him you know you know she's probably thinking that like she's she's for sure for sure that he's the one i definitely i only started playing with her as a young adult but i think you know she definitely has been through some pretty bad relationships in the past and she really like has a good feeling with paul and oh dear i think <laughs> the dog <gasps> honey honey seems to have done done a little poop done a little poop that it won't let me clean it up but uh yeah 
so do you actually have work today she does have work today but i think like honestly her and paul have just been spending so much time together if you actually want to see any screenshots i do post frequently on my twitter screenshots of her but uh, her and paul they've been hanging out so much lately you know whenever she gets some time off she always spends it with paul they're definitely you know very much head over heels for each other i will i will i may we, you may not be seeing paul in person yet since i don't think she's going to be inviting him over and i think she's just going to go ahead and just go to work she doesn't really work from home that often it isn't really what she does but i'm actually thinking that today i actually want to go ahead and get juliet to maybe i mean she goes walking a lot into the parks but it's literally the second day of autumn so it is going to be getting a little bit more i guess cold uh, these are my holidays by the way that i've added to the calendar i love them a lot <laughs> i took a long time thinking them up if you want to see more about them uh check out my current household on the stitches since i did go over the calendar and this is the same calendar setup uh, but yeah it is the second day of fall and she's kind of thinking you know it's going to be starting to get colder and when she goes to granite falls girl likes to have a tent she doesn't want to go staying in any cabin she likes to get you know right into the wild so she's thinking this is probably my last chance this year to go ahead and go i guess camping in granite falls which actually is her favorite place on simmer as i like to call it oh my god so she's probably thinking you know but she's kind of thinking you know i went on my own last time it, it sucked maybe i'll invite out paul i don't know i feel like they definitely do know each other more now and i i definitely think she's probably thinking you know why don't i invite paul and dotty like why don't i invite them both you know like i mean it's fun her and honey but she's kind of thinking you know if it if it is storming again <laughs> at least it'll be better if i'm with paul but i don't think it'll be storming so i think she's probably gonna actually uh she just wants to go ahead and water her trash plant that i need to get rid of but i think i know i got her to go to work today hopefully she can still take some time oh uh, she can't take her time off okay i think i'm probably gonna get her to go into work today oh i don't know though because i feel like this is a last chance i think i don't want her to skip work though she would never skip work but i don't think we're gonna have an option so i think i'm just gonna get her to just skip work i mean i don't know she never would do this again maybe she just has a little bit of rebellion and she's kind of thinking you know why don't i just hold on if we get to take a vacation it may actually count that as a holiday okay hopefully <laughs> but yeah she's gonna go ahead and invite out paul and dotty and honey she's probably gonna call him like hey paul i know this is pretty much out of nowhere and you usually plan these kind of trips but you know do you want to go ahead and go camping at granite falls with me uh, just before it gets too just before it gets too cold you know we'll be we'll be camping in a tent it'll be super fun and i think paul paul's gonna be like yeah of course it's actually quite funny because they were of course being flirty together but paul is the one who actually called her he actually did call her and tell her you know hey do you want to go out on a date which i just think is so adorable that you know he made he made the first move although they did go out like out together it wasn't really like a date but they, he was the one to be like hey let's go out on a date together which is honestly so cute but uh yeah i thought i just put that there but they are probably going to go ahead and camp on the campground over here i really hope it isn't storming again because that kind of ruined it but they she's just going to go camping for about a day because they're probably just going to be doing like a couple of hikes and probably going to be leaving in the morning you know they're not going to be staying for too long so we're just going to book it for a day Alrighty, so we've arrived at the campground and I do not know what she is wearing. She's no, you're not going to work. No, we're gonna have to just miss work today. Her boss isn't gonna be happy. No, I think Paul just went to work too. Paul. Oh no, Paul's still there. I'm just blind. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of this ugly outfit, but I'm probably actually gonna quickly hop in to create a sim now, to be honest. Just to quickly show you guys the outfit, then we'll get in to the whole camping thing, which I think is gonna be so fun. But yeah, I will quickly show you guys her outfit. Alrighty, so we are now in creator sim and this is uh juliet this is a close-up look at her as i said i really wanted to make a sim that you know i usually make sims that really fit into the beauty standards if you guys get my drift and i really wanted to make a sim that looks more like a real person you know like a an actual part like you'd see her walking down the street or you'd see her like you know as maybe your neighbor or something that's the kind of sim i wanted to go for here and i think i did such a great job with juliet i as i said i personally think she's actually stunning i i don't know i think she's just such a like a beautiful sim and i don't know i feel like she's truly incredible i love the sim <laughs> i really love juliet i'm really hoping to make this like my main 
my like, i do have a couple of other current households but i'm really hoping to th- make this like my main like legacy it isn't i'm not trying to head for a legacy um but i do want to try and make this like you know the main thing but uh yeah this is i guess juliet's first outfit it's very very cute as i said i really want to go for a very teacher kind of nerdy kind of look with her she has glasses which is so cute i love her glasses and i also love her hair yeah i didn't go with a lot of custom content if you're new here i do use custom content but not a lot i'm mainly a vanilla player and yeah i'm actually really happy with some of her outfits i got a really lovely little ponytail here i love it she really does rock this ponytail with from discover university yeah she kind of like sweaters jumpers jeans you know she does like skirts too i really wanted to go for that teacher look <laughs> i really wanted to go for that definitely does give off teacher vibes <laughs> but yeah next we have have her formal wear which i'm actually in love with i don't know everything about this look to her hair like her, look at that hairstyle like honestly oh she's so beautiful like honestly like oh my goodness i love this sim i really do and i love this dress honestly like i cannot wait for like i feel like i'm gonna put her in this formal wear and when like maybe paul proposes to her i know they're not even together yet but you know i feel like this is just the perfect kind of look to you know where you get you know someone would propose to you if you wore this i hope you get my drift hopefully <laughs> and then uh, we have next got her athletic wear i've actually given her a couple because i did want to give her like some camping camping clothes and hiking clothes this is just what she wears um not when she's you know hiking or camping just you know, on the treadmill or something or the punching bag but uh, the other two the two and three are mainly for like you know when she's camping when she's hiking i did use a lot of outdoor retreat stuff i've been wanting to use outdoor retreat stuff and i thought this would be the perfect excuse to <laughs> and yeah we've also got this look right here with some shorts for you know i guess more cooler or warmer weather i should say and then for her sleepwear i do like to give my sims a couple of sleepwear her first one she's kind of just got her hair down you know um maybe taking it out of the ponytail whilst her other sleepwear is actually just in a ponytail this is her without her glasses and without any makeup still actually beautiful completely stunning and then for her party wear we basically just have this oh i love i love the party wear you guys i love this i'm really proud of the sims outfits to be honest again she's wearing a little bit more makeup here she's actually taken off her glasses i actually want to give her back the eyelashes for some of the looks i did get uh, the picky pikachu lashes i'm still keeping my kajiko lashes but i'm actually kind of moving onto these picky pikachu ones since they are very vanilla i love them i think they look great so i feel like with some of her outfits she will wear lashes so we're just gonna kind of throw those on i feel like they just add to the look you know like she's she's got some she's got some mascara on whilst with other outfits she isn't wearing as much mascara um because you know you, you don't always she's she, she likes makeup but she doesn't really wear a lot of it that often but yeah as i said back to her back to her party wear very pretty again this gorgeous dress from dying out she's got her hair down she's got some really cute little leaf earrings in as always looking completely stunning oh i, I just i love the sim i love the sim i love her <laughs> so much and then for her swimwear there we go just got her hair down nice hat for her hot weather wear. she's actually got three hot weather wears i added a couple more because it was summer and i didn't want her to be in this all the time this oh this look i love it i love it i love it it reminds me of when her and paul went to the park together and it was like their first ever outing and it was so wholesome you guys as uh, that's this is the outfit she wore then and for, for her second outfit we have this one uh, which you guys saw her wear in the start very very cute you know we've got some shorts and this cute top here and i love her style even if it isn't that you know trendy or that you know I, I think it's cute but some may say it isn't i love it either way i love this short look right here love the the top i love this top from <laughs> outdoor retreat so much and then next we've got our cold weather wears she'll be wearing these soon since it is you know dipping more into the winter months but this one right here is for like maybe it's just cold outside you know it isn't completely freezing you know maybe she just wants to nip to the shops and get some milk that's the kind of look you'd wear and then for her second one it's more for if it's you know maybe snowing outside and then for her third look it is more for like i guess you know more again like i said more colder weather i wanted to go with some looks for like the different temperatures and stuff because it's not always going to be a uh, freezing it's not always going to be cold well most of the time you know especially in autumn when it starts you know getting cold at the end of autumn you don't want to completely put on the full look if you get what i mean you just want to go with something you know a little jumper a beanie gloves you get my drift but uh yeah that 
that is uh, Miss Juliet's outfits. Uh, tell me your favorite. <laughs> As I always say, I love to hear. As I said, I'm really proud of how, how I put her outfits together. I just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really proud of the com combinations of clothes I use. I've been trying to do that more often. And I'm really happy I used, no, I did use some custom content, but I'm really proud of myself for using like minimal. But yeah, as I said, I'm like actually obsessed with her formal wear, you guys. Like, ooh, she looks so cute. Anywho, I need to get out of <laughs> ages in and yeah so as i said um we will actually have a look at paul now since we can see him in the flesh <laughs> that sounds so weird Alrighty, so we have arrived at the campgrounds and paul has disappeared again i swear this this guy he he likes disappearing and it is actually pouring with <laughs> rain right now i'm just oh, he seems he seems to be around but i just can't find him he's probably wandered off somewhere i don't know to be honest but we'll find him but oh my god they've arrived here and it is pouring with rain which is honestly just perfect it is warm so i'm actually gonna throw her in an outfit with you know some shorts maybe this one you know because it is a bit more warm but uh yeah it is pouring which oh hold on paul's coming <laughs> He is, he's coming uh but yeah i'm gonna get her into you know an, another outfit oh my goodness okay the the dog seems to be just giving up <laughs> honey seems to be just giving up but okay here here is paul i think i'm gonna go ahead and get her to just you know go say hi to him he's feeling pretty uncomfortable he isn't as much into i guess going camping as she is so he's a little bit uncomfortable he's like you said this would be a nice camping trip no <laughs> it is actually just pouring with rain but yeah this is a better look at paul he does look pretty sad right now but yeah as i said i just got him off the gallery i tweaked him a little bit to fit my my sim style but i, I don't know where i probably searched like you know man or guy on the gallery and clicked popular now to find him i don't know who the original creator is but you know it's maybe i can't create guy sim so i just got him but you know I, I really like him too as i said he does look like he could be you know he could live on your street he just looks like a pretty realistic person and yeah so this is very unfortunate unfor for them isn't it <laughs> just pouring with rain they're gonna make it work though but as i said they did actually have their first kiss like last time they saw each other so i feel like it's gonna be so cute if they also had dinner together maybe if oh kiss in the rain no i'm just gonna go ahead and get her to do it she actually seems to just be actually she doesn't seem to mind the rain she seems to actually just be cloud gazing which is so adorable you know she really loves it she loves it when it rains you know it, it does get annoying in the night but she loves it when like this stuff happens so she doesn't really mind but i'm just gonna go ahead and get her to just kiss him in the rain like a full-on kiss which i think is like so cute she's just gonna just she's just gonna go ahead and go for it which is so adorable but there we go oh that made him feel better <laughs> but uh yeah i actually think i'm probably gonna be finishing up uh today's current household here i'm probably just gonna be playing this off camera now as i said i hopefully hopefully i'll keep playing with her I think I will. I have this really good feeling that I'm going to keep playing. And this is going to become my new legacy. As I said, no promises. Um, the evergreens were meant to be my legacy. But I'm not enjoying them as much as I used to. But I have a really good feeling that this is going to become my new legacy. So I will, of course, be posting more current households on this. I'm hoping this will become like my main current household. I won't be making this a let's play or anything. As I said, this is kind of just my, my thing I play in my spare time. And yeah so i will be hopefully releasing another current household on the the denizens i guess because <laughs> that's the name oh juliet's surname and yeah so um if you guys enjoyed do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we would love to have you join the plum family and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye a quick thank you to all of the channel members thank you ace Kristen, plumberry i winnie crystal exton mckenna robin ivy louise melody and bella i really do appreciate it